This is my Galaxy Samsung S25 Ultra and it's running on the latest update. I think that's the first update I ever got. It's using the security patch level from the 1st of February and the version is A. YB4. This thing here is my S24 Ultra and it's running on the One UI 7 beta guys but the security patch level is from the 1st of March and the version is BYC4 and although Samsung is really pushing a lot of updates for the One UI 7 for the S25 series for example a new version of Home Up that is 160060 I'm going to install it right now and test it with you apparently they fixed some bugs where rigid updates were not applied after changing wallpapers while using the do-it-yourself home and i don't think that's a situation that is going to occur every day or at least for a lot of users and improved handling of nested items when moving them in the diy home edit mode so it's not that it's bad guys it's just like it's probably just a custom case anyway i'm going to update that version um just tested around animations and fluidity but guys why is this important and why do i believe that one i7 uh, is kind of in a limbo mode because here this is the S24 Ultra, guys. It's still running on the better software, but the better software has some features that we don't have in the One UI 7 for the S25 Ultra that is supposed to be the stable one. Remember, like this thing premiered on the S or for the S25 series. And what do I mean, guys? I'm going to show you like some very basic examples that I do believe are important. So I can go inside. So what if I can play a tune and when I play the tune, the tune is going to get minimized here. And this is really, really very useful. And what is this thing here? Yeah, this is the so-called now bar. And how do I know this? Because if I am to open my clock, which I'm going to do right now. So let me just go and open the clock. I'm going to start my clock. I'm going to minimize that as well. And now you're going to see that I'm going to actually have these two things, right? So it's, it's really good, right? And it's something that we currently don't have and also it does not work only for spotify it also works for youtube and this is very convenient i'm gonna play one of my videos you know i'm gonna minimize the video i can put it there and the video is going to be here this is just so convenient and you pretty much know what you're working with these things are not available for my s25 order i can show you around now of course i use premium so i can see everything here in the picture in picture mode but i don't have it here and yes it's just so frustrating guys i can still play the tune i can minimize it it's not going to appear there and this isn't great guys this is also what i was saying that the one ui 7 is more or less in a limbo mode because samsung made some statements about releasing it you know starting from april but then they incorporated so many disclaimers like for example it may vary on region on device on this on that anyway now we have a new home up update there was also an update to the good lock which i already installed they are working on some great stuff with good lock and the good lock got really redesigned and now it looks like a premium suite of software they're not advertising good lock enough and yeah they're not making it very easy for the users guys because some of the features are still geo restricted nevertheless let's just try to test the latest home app. How do we know if I go here about home screen 160021? No, One UI 7 is really greatly improved in terms of fluidity and in terms of how it works on the S25 series. I do believe this is really a good step ahead. And of course, it does incorporate some very nice uh, features, AI features, natural language understanding, like for example, make scrolling smoother when you select this here, you know how it goes. But nevertheless, it still feels like a better software because on the better software, we have features here on the S24 Ultra that are not here. So it doesn't really make sense so much. And um, probably Samsung should just take a look at how Google is rolling all like the pixel drops. I'm not saying that Google are perfect, but recently they're doing a better job. Okay, what about animations? Let me just try to close everything. Everything's closed. Let's open Telegram, open Facebook X. I mean, it's getting really nice and good. And if you don't know when you use Home Up from Good Luck and go inside your home screen settings, click on more customizations, you are directly going to get to home up from where you can use home gesture animation tuning. And I am now using Elegance on both my phones recently. I really like the animations. It's fluid. There are no stutters. Honestly, it's almost almost good as uh, the Chinese phones that I've been using. Now, maybe not still at that same level, but you can see how it works. Not a problem at all. And you can perfectly time all the animations you want to do. So I really hope that Samsung is going to finally get a strong grip on the One UI 7 release because uh, we first need to vent some of the frustration and we also need to get some of the nice cool settings. Like for example, these media controls here, right? One more time, my S24 Ultra in the hand, boom. 
I mean, come on, Samsung, this has to be something really easy, or at least I hope so. Nevertheless, guys, thank you so much for watching. This is the S24 Ultra, this is the S25 Ultra, and this is One UI 7 Beta on both phones. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, VST, over, and bye.